Welcome back everybody to What the Future. We have two episodes on a topic called recruiting. To be precise, data-driven recruiting. If you are a recruiter, you know the skill shortage is very huge and it's becoming bigger and bigger, especially for very specialized skills. Now, the bad news are the problem is not getting any better in the next years. The good news, however, are technology is there to help you. And if we talk about technology in this case, we talk about people analytics. Now, traditionally, people analytics focuses on the analysis of internal data. In recruiting, it would be the time to hire or the costs of a hire. There's also an even broader data pool, which you might not have looked at yet. That's the macroeconomic data, the data that's around you, the data that's not in your company, but everywhere else. I'll give you two examples how external data can be utilized. For recruiting. Let's imagine your company wants to open up a new location, hire let's say 50 engineers. A logical way how to tackle this problem would be to look at supply, demand, competitors both in your industry as well as outside industry as well as of course costs and then to merge all this data together to find the right location on the world for your business venture. But now how is it done in reality? The business takes a decision the recruiters have to find the people, so it's reactive. So what you should take away from this example is that the data is out there. You just have to find it and utilize it before the decision is taken. Now let's talk about the second example, competitor benchmarking. Benchmarking is done everywhere in recruiting, usually about compensation. But have you ever thought about analyzing job postings that are out there? For example, if you read one job posting, you could figure out which company is looking for which skill in which location, for which role. Imagine you could scale it up to hundreds, thousands or even millions of job postings. By consolidating all this data together, you could figure out what your competitors are actively seeking for on a large scale, where they are hiring and what skill they are looking for. And even better, you could utilize that information to analyze the competitor's strategy and to identify in which direction they are heading. I hope these two examples could give you a glimpse of what you can do with all this external data out there. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.